friends this setup where we are standing right now is a high tech fully automated climate control polyhouse setup now where or in what situations these kind of setups can work i'll give you an example of our own use case we are in a geography which experiences hot summers when i say hot summer the temperature here regularly crosses 47 degrees centigrade the average temperature during daytime during summer is around 40 degrees centigrade as such it is very difficult to grow crops here inside a controlled environment polyhouse which is naturally ventilated and mostly most of the exotics which are consumed here come from nearby regions which increases the cost of the food here and so we saw an opportunity wherein if we can grow crops and which can cater to off season demand we can make good profit to cater to that particular opportunity we have designed this polyhouse now in this polyhouse we have made some different provisions which are not generally the rule book provisions to make sure that the profitability is good and our cooling cost is low the first one is we have reduced the height of the polyhouse by around 25% now by reducing the height of polyhouse by around 25% what we are doing is we are reducing our cooling cost also by around 25% which is a huge cost during the summer season the second thing that we have done is apart from the usual fan and pads which you generally see in a polyhouse we have also created provision for additional ventilation fans in the top so the hot air which generally gets trapped in these kind of polyhouse in the top layer that can also be expelled third thing we have done is we have not gone for a single layer polythene walls in this polyhouse we have gone for dual layer walls in which the polythene layer can be retracted whenever needed to control the temperature and humidity and all of these are controlled by automation now you might ask why automation is it possible to set up this kind of a farm without automation yes it is very much possible but we strongly recommend to use automation and there are three reasons for that number 1 this entire concept of cooling works on the principle of evaporative cooling so every time you want to bring the temperature down you are increasing the humidity now managing humidity may become a challenge if you are doing it manually with automation it's much easier to find the right balance between temperature and humidity second reason the cost of electricity so let's say we have put a lot of fans pads a lot of system for cooling it down all of these system run on electricity and if you leave it to humans humans will typically look at their comfort and not at the comfort of the plants so generally a scenario would play out like this your farm manager or labor will come in the morning they will turn on all the equipment and when they are leaving in the evening they will turn off all the equipment which means your equipment in a typical day in summer will run for 10 to 12 hours and that's the amount of duration for which you will be paying for the electricity charge however there will be time periods during the day however brief it may be in which you might not need to run the equipment or you might not need to run all the equipment at the peak capacity automation can sense that automation does not differentiate between humans and plants automation will make sure that if there is a opportunity to cut cost by turning off the equipment while still ensuring that the right temperature right climate right vapor pressure deficit is maintained for the plants it will do so so that's your second reason and in our own experience we have seen the cost of electricity come down by 30% by using automation versus not using automation in this kind of farm and third reason even if you are not worried about cost i'm sure you will be worried about revenue if you use an automated system to give the right kind of climate to the plants to the crops the yield will increase and this is not rocket science you think of it logically plant is a life form so are you so am i if we are working in an environment which is conducive let's say we are working in an ac environment temperature is around 25 degree centigrade versus you are working in open field temperature is 40 degree centigrade will your output vary or not the same thing happens with crops if you create the right environment with the for the crops the output changes and the yield varies 